Chosen Ones is a brand new book by author Veronica Roth, who wrote the Divergent series, and it just came out, uh, it was released in April of this year, 2020, and it is her first adventure, first experiment with non-YA literature. This book was written for adults. All right, let me start with this, talking about Chosen Ones. Uh, it is a book that I believe most readers are going to actually enjoy. In fact, I think that a lot of the critics will probably say nice things about this book. When you have an author like Roth who has done things that people generally like and then comes out with new material, you usually don't have people just swing to the opposite side of the spectrum. And Roth is a great writer, so a lot of people are going to enjoy this book. I, however, had had many problems with it. It was a book that I both did and did not like, and I'll talk about why. But before we get into that, let me give you the premise here, because it's one of the things that I actually liked most about this book. This book starts 10 years after the end of most other books. Most other fantasy, even YA novels, uh, deal with right the heroes in the moments before leading up to and the climactic battle of defeating the Dark One or whatever that is. In this book, it starts 10 years after that. And we still have the cast of characters that are the heroes from a decade previously that defeated the Dark One. And in this story, they it really is called the Dark One. And like the, the evil force is called the Dark One, which super creative. But here in Chosen Ones, we start with the five heroes that vanquished the forces of the Dark One 10 years prior, and now they're living their lives as modern day celebrities, but dealing with not only the, you know, the good fallout of being, of defeating the Dark One, but the bad fallout, the depression and and uh, PTSD and uh, thoughts of suicide and anger and frustrations and broken relationships and all that they... I just bit my tongue. And all that they saw and experienced, they're now having to live out their life uh, figuring out what it means and, and it, how, how to live in a world where they were best at fighting and killing a dark being, but now how are they supposed to live their lives? And some of the five are living and operating better than others, and a few of them are operating quite poorly. One of those is our main protagonist. Sloan is one of the five chosen ones who is has just this heaviness. She's brooding, and it's one of the areas that I had a disconnect with when it came to this book. She's our protagonist. I get that she has PTSD. I get that she's having to deal with all of the fallout of what that means and the loss of friends and family and all the things that she's done and the lives that are in her hands that she's, um, you know, she's had many bad things happen to her and she's done many bad things. I get that. I get broken, flawed characters, but Sloan was a queen bee. And she's written this way. I'm not, I'm not just putting this on her. She is every, uh, most decisions that she makes, most, most actions that she takes, most things that she says or thinks are, are angsty, angry. And Roth is linking this, of course, to the trauma that she's experienced, but I, I never really saw the other side of her, the one where I'm supposed to find compassion or empathy or sympathy even for for our main characters. And for some of them I kind of do, for Sloan, our protagonist, I never once did. Roth tries to help us connect to her by showing us like some of the backstory and what she was brought through. And man, I get that. Like Sloan had a terrible life and I would probably be in her shoes, but then don't write a book about me because... No one's going to like me. No one's going to care for me. Every decision that Sloan made along the way was selfish and stupid and one-sided. Of course, it works out in the end because that's what these kind of novels do, but it shouldn't. And she shouldn't have any friends at the end because of, of the choices that she made over and over and over again in this book. And that kind of brings me to my next point, which I have been skirting around. This is... You know, contemporary fiction, contemporary fantasy, it's, it's uh, pitched as Roth's first 
uh, entry into adult literature. It's not. It's YA. There's one semi-steamy sex scene, but everything else outside of the language and maybe some of the themes, all of that is even included in a lot of YA uh, fantasy fiction that I read. And so this is the tone, the characters, all the, yeah, they're what now, since it's 10 years later, they're in their mid twenties, some in their early thirties, but that doesn't change some of their, the ways that they're acting and, and interacting with one another. It's still very, teen a lot of this book this book could very easily been pitched to a ya audience and no one would have batted an eye i also felt like i got whiplash with the plot and i can't talk about it much or it would go into spoiler territory but there's three parts of the book and the first part i kind of really enjoyed some people might think that it moved slowly but it was actually dealing a lot with what i've already talked about the themes of how these characters interact with one another in the world around them 10 years after the event but then in part two, it just flips it on its head and it's something entirely different, something that you wouldn't expect. Now you're going to be expecting something, but, and some people are going to like that because they're like, okay, it ramps up. There's something new here. And so I was for, I was in for the ride. But then every step along the way, I was like, this is going to happen. Probably this is going to happen. Well, based on this character and the person's, these people's their names and what i just knew <laughs> every hint that was being dropped was like so blatant to me that when the reveals happen they f they fell flat for me I, I i knew they were coming i feel like i'm really bashing this book i didn't hate it i read it all the way through i enjoyed the majority of it i just it didn't in the end it didn't click for me uh, I, I, if I was get, ranking it out of five stars and I don't typically do that on this channel, I would give it three, three and a half. It was enjoyable. It was, it was okay. I, I see why people would really enjoy this and will really enjoy this, but it's not, it's, it's not for me. I, and it's mainly because the plot went a few places that wasn't that exciting for me, but I could have gotten over that if it, if the characters were people that I connected with. You start with five and then it really only focuses on three for some weird reason. And then Sloane is our main protagonist. But again, she's just so whiny and mean and selfish that I never really connected with her. Even the people that are introduced outside of those five, you're supposed to somewhat enjoy. Uh, and and it, I, I am a character driven reader, plot driven reader. And both of those things were some of the weakest elements of Chosen One. Roth is going to continue the series. She's going to continue to write and that's great. People are going to enjoy it. I also didn't love the Divergent series. So I, I was kind of shooting myself in the foot by reading this one and thinking that it's going to be something different. It's my fault. Uh, but again, not a bad book. I have figured out that my final thoughts on a book would be summarized in saying, do I want to read a sequel if there is one or will be one? And coming to this, if there's a sequel, there will be to Chosen Ones. I I don't care to read it. I would like someone to tell me what happens in it, uh, but I but I don't don't really care to read it. There are a lot of things that I intentionally didn't include in this review. Most of my reviews on here, I try to do relatively spoiler free. So hopefully you've enjoyed uh, listening to this. If you're looking forward to reading Chosen Ones, great. Let me know uh, that below in the comments if you've already read it and have the same or completely different opinions than me. Please let me know. Let's dialogue in the comments down below. And if you've got another suggestion of adult fantasy or YA fantasy, I'm all about all the fantasy sent it my way. Thank you for watching this video and for liking. Make sure if you haven't yet to click subscribe and join the dragon army and we'll see you in the next video.